Hey guys, Brandon from Rogue Fabrication here. We're gonna show you guys how to put together our Weld Together 605 Bender Kit. And uh, we're gonna start with the unboxing. We've had a few revisions over the last few years, and this is the most up-to-date video that you're gonna see for the end of 2022. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna talk about is how our Weld Together kits are shipped. They come in this box. They should be paper tape. You should have two stickers on them. This sticker indicates to check out the box before you open it. If your box shows up, it should look like this. And if it has any sort of damage, you're gonna wanna take pictures of it. Okay, now if your box shows up with damage like this, you're gonna wanna take pictures before you open it. Take as many pictures as you can and you have to save all the packaging for us. That allows us to get a successful shipping claim done for you. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting the box flat on the table. And we're gonna just cut along the outer seams. Open your box like that, and as you can tell, we have the damage there. You should have took a picture of it before you cut it open. Now you take a picture of this with the inner box with the damage on it too. So this is our inner box. This usually has your die set and other accessories that you ordered with your weld together in it with your serial number. We'll set that aside. You'll have your inner kit box. This will have all of your smaller weld together pieces in it. Okay, so you should have two bin wheels. You'll have your two uprights, and then on the very bottom here is your base plate, and then two pieces of C-channel. That's all that's gonna be left in the box when you pull out your other two boxes. Cut your corners, give you a little more easy access. C-channel. Grab your two bin wheels, put them aside. You won't need them right away. Uprights, put them aside. You won't need them right away. And you got your base plate. And your other piece of C-channel. Now, if you did have shipping damage, you need to save this packing material in the box for the FedEx claim. So then you're gonna want your inner smaller box. All right, so this is your inner kit box. This has all of the weld together pieces and pens and washers and springs. This is your front plate. These are your RAM support plates and your springs. Here are all of your pens. Your W block. This is your RAM bolt and all of your spacers and your copper indicator. Here's the rear C channel. Stiffener plate. We call these the banana clips, but these are the sticker protection bars that go on your bin wheel on the operator side. Packing material. And then, then in this envelope, we'll have your sticker sheet and your weld together instructions. All right, here are your bin wheels your uprights, your washers, ram bolt, and indicator copper strip. Here is all of your pins, banana clips or sticker protection bars, stiffener plate, W block, front plate, rear C channel, ram supports, return springs, stickers, instructions, base plate, and side C channels. And this box is it has all of your dies, pressure rollers, and other things that you ordered with your kit. All right guys, now that we went over all of the components that are in your kit, we are gonna clear the table and we're only gonna pull out the components that are most important to start with and we are gonna deburr and prep them for assembly. Okay guys, so what we're focusing on for prepping your metal parts is any type of laser burr or the start or end points of the cut. 
you'll see this little nubbin right there. We like to take that off. And then if you can see on this one, there's a little bit of laser burr. So this is what you're looking for is laser slag. It's very minimal and you shouldn't see a ton of it, but when you do, you need to remove it. That part was prepped. So that part's basically deburred. Um, if there's any type of scratches in the surface of the metal, you're gonna wanna you know, blend them out. This will help you with painting in the future. All right, so we're gonna work on our C-channel C pieces now. Um, these are your side C-channels and this is your rear one. They get welded together, so we're gonna put some bevels in there so that you get maximum penetration. As you see, we're only putting a bevel on two sides, one on the bottom and one on the back. We do it on both sides. Okay, so now that you're done doing your uh, back piece of C-channel and you beveled the bottom and the back side of both of them, we're gonna move over to the side C channel. And we're only gonna bevel one side of it, and it's gonna be this one, which is gonna be technically the part that meets up right here with this one. So you have a bevel on both sides of your weld. Okay, now that we have all of your parts deburred and prepped for weld, uh, we're gonna move on to actually putting, to putting other parts with a welder. Uh, you can TIG weld it or MIG weld it. Um, we do MIG pulse here in the shop. Um, so we use a, a Miller, uh, this one's a Miller Matic 255. We also have a Multimatic, but we like the Miller Matic mainly because it has pulse. So flip it on. And we have all of our settings already preset. We're not really gonna go into uh, how to set up your welder and like the basis of welding. If you're at that intermediate stage, uh, there's a lot of videos out there that you can go see for learning how to weld. All right, so we're gonna grab your rear piece of C channel that you just got done beveling. We're gonna get the two RAM supports and we're gonna get your base plate. Make sure that when you're working with the base plate, you'll see that there's a little laser etching on there. It says this side up, and this longer cutout should be to your right side. So this needs to be facing up. If you put it on backwards, you're gonna have to re-notch out this other side to allow your ram to fit. Okay, so this piece is made to fit inside of this piece right here. You can force it in there, but it's a little tight. If you wanna make it easier, you can grind a little bit off. We're gonna show you right where you need to grind. So you need to grind right in this area to make this a little bit smaller.
Just a little bit. We'll do both sides while we're here. Okay, now that you ground a little bit off of here, um, you might have to take a little bit off the C-channel because C-channel does vary just to get the fit nicely. You wanna make sure that your C-channel bevel is down to the bottom, fits in like that. Slides on, go almost to center. A little sticky. Just about like that. Put it like that. Then you're gonna grab your base plate with your slot over to the right and the laser etching facing up. And you're gonna slide it in. Just like that. And you're gonna see right here, there's two little laser cutouts. You want these bottom brackets to pop up into there. So pop up into there, we're gonna weld those. All right, so we're gonna weld these two plugs first because it's flat on the table. We don't want the C-channel in it because it'll lift up the bottom plate. And then this C-channel isn't centered yet, but we'll center that after. You wanna make sure these are relatively square before you weld these. Just like that. And we're gonna check square again. See where we are. Looking pretty good. All right, and we'll center that. Now that those are in there. We'll grab our other C-channel pieces. So we're gonna put them underneath, just like that. Place. Lift it up a little. And then when you get them back here, you want these corners to match up with the corners of the base plate, which will center this back plate. You can see our bevels now is where we're gonna weld. But to get the front straight, you're gonna put in your front plate. And you'll see that there's a little laser marking on it that says front. That needs to be facing out. Put it up here and center your two on it, pinch together, center those corners. And you come back here and you recenter these. You might have to do this a couple times to get both just right. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna tack all four corners. All right, so now that you got all four corners tacked, we're gonna slide it just to the edge of the table. So it's hanging off so we can tack these corners. All right, now we're gonna rotate it around. Put it just like that. Bat wings up, you got a little square. We're gonna square it, and we're gonna put two tacks on it right in the corners. Check square again, looks good. Now we're gonna flip it over. Check square one more time, make sure I didn't move it. Looks good, now I'm gonna attack here and here. While we have it flipped over, we're gonna insert our center brace right there, push all the way against the ram braces, so it's flat. Then we're gonna attack the two top corners first. Now, 
bottom. We're gonna do two tacks right in here. Okay, so you want to have your welding rod centered in the hole and you want to start your arc in the center of the hole, let it melt to the outside to the top plate. You want good adhesion to the C channel. All right, you just want to weld all of these till they're all positive. We're going to come back and grind them all smooth. So now we're gonna move on to welding your uh, RAM support brackets. Uh, we got done welding all of your uh, plug welds and grinding them smooth. You can choose to not to grind them smooth if you like. Um, it just depends on how nice you want your bender to look. I use anti-splatter in this area because it's hard to get the splatter out of the inside of this after you weld it. So a little spray. I like to do a tack right in here first, joining the bottom plate to the uprights. Then I like to weld the outsides first because it's better to have this wider than narrower. For your, for your RAM to fit in. So now to do the um, insides, I like to turn it on the side. It's a little easier to weld when it's on the side. Now, I weld these um, downhill. You can tilt the bender up and weld it like this if you like. Might be easier for most people.
Cool. So now we got that welded. Now we're gonna weld uh, these back pieces where he beveled it out. two welds in here you gotta make sure that your weld isn't going past the slot otherwise your upright won't fit in so now we're gonna weld down here and down here I like to hang it off the table so I don't weld onto the table start with this weld right here. You're going to weld in between your two hot spots. Then we're going to weld two welds right here. And you'll see two hot spots from where you welded these, these braces to the base plate. downhill right here. So you got your welds right there, and right there. Flip it around. And we're gonna weld right here, and right here. Now we're going to weld right here where you had your bevel. All right, so we're going to weld in here and up in here, down and up in here, down and up in here down and up in here. We'll show you what those welds look like afterwards. It's kind of hard to see.
So as you can see, we welded in there. Now we're just gonna stitch weld down the frame. Um, you don't wanna put too much weld in here because you will warp these bars. So we try to go slow and we try to do a pattern. Now we're gonna weld the inner braces. We're gonna be grinding these positive welds and these positive tacks so that your bender will sit flat on the table. Sit flat on the table now. Now your base is complete. All right, so now that you have both of your uprights, you're, they're match set, so you're gonna open them up mirrored, put them down on the table like this, so that your washers are on the inside of both the uprights. Now you're gonna grab your bag of washers and the bolt. Well. These are all the way. That out of the way. Get your washers. One here, one over here. You're gonna center it. Put three tacks on it to hold the washer in place. What it looks like. This over. Make sure to get off any BBs. Take washer. 
on the inside, put the upright into the slot. Make sure it's fully seated, it's fully forward. Do the same thing with this one. Line it up, Put the tabs. Grab yourself a little square. Make sure your piece is square. Go. We're gonna put a tack in the back here. This one's square. Little tack right there. Rotate it around. Check square one more time. Good. Check right here. Put all the pins in just to make sure everything's lined up. Check your measurement. Should be three and three quarter. Three and three quarter. Put all pins in and double check your gap. Three and three quarter. Three and three quarter. Rotate it around. You're gonna weld on the inside in here. I like to hold my gun all the way in there like that. I start and I work downhill. upright welds, two of the bottom welds in the far corner. We're gonna do two in the middle and then two on the outside out here. Three welds right in there. Now we're going to weld the outside seam here. Side. 
here. Your whole bender frame is now complete. Just a little bit of uh, BB removal, and you'll be good to go. All the pins fit. Double check your measurement. Looks good. Now we're gonna move on to the bin wheels. Now you grab your sticker protection bars and make sure they're lined up properly. You can tack them together for alignment. Hold them perfectly still and fill the holes with liquid magma. After you're done welding the holes, grind all welds to flush. After grinding sticker protection bars flush, flip over your wheel and weld washers to center pinhole. So now that we're done with the weld together portion of this video, we're gonna send this bender off to powder coat. And then when it comes back, we're gonna show you guys how to install all of our stickers and do a full assembly video with a powder coated machine. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to get all of our following content and see you guys later. Like, okay. Yeah, no, that was good. That was All good. Right. Doesn't help.
Ah, 